Hello all, in this video, we will see how to draw a hierarchical schematic in LT Spice. So, hierarchical schematic is a favorite for many people, right? Uh, you love um, reducing the complexity of the schematic by looking at the schematic block level and then hiding the entire schematic underneath the block, right? So, without uh, too much of discussion, we will try to go into the details. So, let us uh, have a schematic which is drawn already. So, this simple uh, N channel MOSFET schematic where you have N channel MOSFET to its source, there is a ground IO port that is connected, and input has a port, output is connected here, which is a port again, and then a 1k resistor it is connected to drain so here we connect the power right so now let us see how to create a hierarchical block out of this so to create a hierarchical block remember that we need to have ports so even if you have worked on any of the EDA tools you must have seen this so this you can see here as we have seen, this is uh, um, the schematic, LT spy schematic, and then um, we have to create a block, right? Hierarchical blocks. So for that, it's a very, very easy thing. Go to hierarchy, okay? Open the sheets symbol. Click on open the sheet symbol. So, what it says is there isn't any sheet symbol created. So, shall I try to automatically generate one? Yes, go ahead and generate. And when you click yes, what happens is there is a <coughs> block that is created where you can see it has the same ports as input, power, output, and ground. Input, power, output, and ground. As simple as that, right? Now, one key observation is you can see here this is in draft one. This name is also draft one. So the schematic is draft one. The symbol is also draft one. So you can rename it as you require, but they should both, they both must have the same name. Now, if you go to the folder which we have talked about, so you see that in this uh, schematic two folder, you have the symbol and you have the schematic. So uh, that means you have the required block that is created. Now, let us draw a new schematic. Okay. So, once you have these created, if you go to the components, okay, and you can see, you can place the part, which is as simple as that. So, you generally have it in symbols, right? Now, we have a local library you know uh, so this is actually schematic 2 so we are, we are taking from schematic 1 don't worry much about it so the, the hierarchical part is already there so now have the connectivity as you require okay and then connect the resistor here You can have the resistor connected okay and to the input so let us just connect a 1k resistor so there's already a 1k resistor which we have seen in the schematic right in the hierarchical block schematic there's 1k resistor so we connected a 1k load here now let us add the power symbol The power supply, let us add the power supply to this block and ground it. Let us for example connect 5 volts to the drain and as this is N channel, if you if you give a power supply, the N if you give power to this, the N MOS should be on and this should be grounded, you should see zero here. Now, if you go back to the schematic and try to run this, let us take for one second, 
and if you try to run this, this should be zero, right? You can see zero here. Now you can see all the instances of the symbols here. This is um, this circuit. This is the hierarchical block or the symbol. This is the schematic which we created out of it, and then we are simulating it here slowly, slowly, right? <clears throat> now just to see that this is working let us try to have a ground here okay that means what we are doing is in the circuit in this circuit we are trying to give ground here and mos if you are giving uh, vgs <coughs> negative or, or zero uh, that means this uh, uh, general mosfet is off right so when this is off that means the power should um, be connected through the 1k to the um, external 1k resistor so 1k and 1k if you if we have given 4 volts here you can see so 1k and 1k drop will be 2.5 let us see what happens here you can see it is 2.5 so it's working very simple right um, so you can see the entire flow here a very very simple usage so in case if you are drawing a very complex circuit you can divide your schematic into simple blocks like this and draw the schematic so that it is very very easy to understand so just as experiment um, let us uh, try to change the symbol to 2k and see if it is actually varying or it's just uh, uh, here it's varying you increase the load here and then you see that there is a voltage drop and we'll also see if, if it's turning back or not just as an experiment so if we try to run this it should be zero it is zero so this work you this circuit is working perfectly right so next time when you're drawing schematics if you already have some block that is created just create a hierarchical block out of it keep it ready and then connect the next section so that the circuit representation looks simpler uh, you reduce the complexity of the circuit that is um, visualized there and it is very very easy to understand as well and this view this is a lovely view right where you have uh, the circuit the symbol the circuit made with the symbol and then the simulation part a great view right so just try out if you have any questions please post only one thing you have to ensure this schematic name and the symbol name should be the same that's it and keep them in the same folder that is very 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 important okay so if you are, they are not part of the fold, uh, same folder you will see uh, an error um, so which uh, uh, basically um, you have to move ultimately to that same folder and then uh, run it okay thank you thanks for watching our video